Good afternoon, my friends. Well, today we are at the Viking Ship Museum in Roskilde. And when I say we, it's of course myself, Maurice, and Bo. <laughs> and we decided to uh, actually pay the ticket this time. I've been here several times and never paid. I just walked around in the free areas, but today we paid a ticket and oh, actually Maurice who paid the ticket. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna, there's a guided tour here, one o'clock, which is in, no. in two minutes. So, uh, and they said at the boatyard and I guess that's over here. So let's go have a look. If, uh, That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Are you going to film me on this story? I hope it's all right. <laughs> Quite all right. Yes. Will um, work out, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> it will work out, I guess. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, it's, uh, what you can clearly see here that it's uh, it's pretty much, especially with this one, it's pretty much just a trunk from a tree that's been carved out. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, so that would have been kind of. Um, fairly simple way of making boats and it's not something that stopped during the Viking Age you can still find boats that have been made like this later on because it's such a simple way of making boats that people would have continued to, to do this you know. um, it's a lot of resources in a bigger boat and a lot of skill and for everyday person it's really hard to do so uh, you see these types of boats even uh, later on, but this is kind of where it all starts. And these boats don't have so much of a keel. You can see there's a little bit of a trace of a keel here. Um, and on that one, they put one on. And also, there is uh, a board. So we start with the trunk that has just been dug out and burned and then split. And then you put on a board and you start to put on the keel to make this already a more complicated boat and more seaworthy boat as well. The other thing is that on the ship findings uh, we have here in the museum, you can see these poles. You see there are some poles here on the side. Yep. Uh, this, is, uh, this is for a thing like this here. Holder and Danish uh, uh, currency, 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 <laughs> keels wine. <laughs> That's 
So, here you see, this is a freight ship, and you see how big it is, and how wide, and it's only for sale. It's no, no oars, you can't row this thing, it's way too heavy. So that's a big freighter, but still from the Viking Age. And then the one over there, the colorful one over there with the, that is a narrow attack ship, warship. So that's quite a difference. And actually there's a a narrow boat here as well for, for rowing. It's pure for rowing. This one here. And you see how narrow it is. Really incredible. And you see the one uh, I talked about the, the attack ship outside the very colorful one. 
is made as a replica of this one over here and you see there is only a little bit left of it original so they had to improvise quite a bit but uh, they try to make it as close to the original as possible and then there's one I guess that must be the freighter this one here because it is taller and, and more stubby not as as narrow and but uh, there's a little bit more left but it's incredible these ships they're more than a thousand years old you know there's still so much left of them and it's really incredible but uh, I guess let's go have a closer look this one here is for the local trade inside the fjord you know it's a little wider but it's kind of a mix of a freighter and a and an, not really an at attack ship because it was for local area only so but imagine this wood this boat was built well a thousand years a thousand plus years ago it's just amazing that they still that it still exists and this one there's quite a bit quite a lot of wood left it's, yeah I, I just think it's amazing And of course now the wood is treated to keep it in, in, you know, and also it's put in a metal frame to keep it together, but yeah, still. Wow. <clears throat> this one is called Skule Level 5 and it is actually an, at an attack ship, a warship, uh, but for the you know, for the for the Eastern Sea, for the they wouldn't go out in the into the Atlantic with this one. Um, it would hold thirty warriors, and uh, well, you see how shallow it is. It it can go up rivers, and they even showed a small clip over there where they drag it across land, so the thirty warriors could actually, well, get out and pull it across land because it's of the size so uh, yeah they could uh, attack a lot of upriver places and stuff so it's pretty pretty incredible no war no wonder that the Vikings were so uh, feared by by the neighboring countries <laughs> It said on the sign that this ship is from, yeah, a thousand, a thousand fifty around that age. Here's a model of the one we saw outside, the long attack ship, the uh, uh, big warship. And you see, when they would go attack some place with all their shields on the side to protect the the Vikings on board and the big sail and everything. No wonder that the place they attacked, they got scared. It's just amazing. Obviously, this is a model, but it is a model of what's over here that I filmed before. It's really, really incredible. Very, very detailed. Really beautiful. We have arrived at Budenage spot for tonight. You see the Raven and Miss Sophia, I think it was, is parked behind me. And uh, it is again one of my old boondogging spots. I can turn around and you can kind of see. I've been here several times. One of the times I was here is in uh, it's some time ago. I made a video about uh, where I was riding my mountain bike in this area, and I actually crashed the mountain bike. So uh, maybe I'm going to maybe I'm going to put a link in the end of this video for that one. It's kind of entertaining. I was wearing a GoPro on my head when I crashed. It looks 
rather dramatic. So, but yeah, Maurice have just figured out a new system to his uh, his on the side of the van table. You see, he put the he put the the leg up on the van. That's neat. So Bo don't uh, trip it. So I really like this table. It's uh, <laughs> so you can stand outside and cook. Yeah, it's really smart. Who told you to do like that? Because that can impossibly be your own I idea. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah, a great it's, idea. It, it's, it's, it really works. Yeah, there's a little like a dent or something in there. Hmm. I don't know what it's for, but okay, and it fits exactly into there. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. Yeah, that's Let's put uh, it in the corner. And, yeah. yeah, you see, that's that's really great idea so we have a outdoor cooking space yeah I'll just sit down and have your meal up there oh yeah yeah as a as a dining table it can be used as well yeah on the porch yeah <laughs> sit and eat on the porch yeah well I am preparing a meal over here it's uh, some uh, well it was a frozen ready meal but uh, just need to to cook so I got the I hope so yeah I got the stove going and you can see it's some pasta with the cheese sauce and broccoli so our boondoggy spot for tonight it's been a it's been a great day really we had a very good time at the Viking Museum I hope you enjoyed that and uh, now we're just gonna Get our meals ready and have something to eat and then kick back and relax for the rest of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great weekend. You guys take care and remember, life is good. Bye bye.